Hi, I'm Cory from Kid Museum. In this video, we're going to learn a little bit about sewing. We're going to learn how to thread a needle, how to tie a knot, how to sew a running stitch, and how to sew a back stitch. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to need are my materials. I've got some fabric right here. I've got a pair of scissors. I've got my needle, and I chose a needle with a pretty large eye. And I've got some thread. This is embroidery floss, but you can also use sewing thread. Now the first thing I'm going to do is cut off a piece of my thread to sew with, just like that. And now I'm going to thread my needle. I'm going to use my spit to get the end of my thread a little bit damp. That's going to help me thread it through the eye of my needle. Take your time. This might take a little bit of practice. There we go. So now that I've got my thread through the eye of my needle, I'm going to take both ends of my thread and kind of get them together and I'm going to tie a knot. I'm going to do this by making a tiny little loop with my thread and then take the tail end and just pass it through to form a knot. Just like this. Now once I've got my knot I'm going to take and pull my thread just to make that night nice and tight. There we go. Now I'm ready to start sewing. So the first stitch we're going to talk about today is going to be our running stitch. So a running stitch is a good stitch to stitch our two pieces of fabric together. It goes up and down from back to front, kind of like the way a dolphin moves through water. It's a nice strong stitch that's really useful. So let's learn how to do one. So I've got my fabric right here. I'm going to start with my needle on one side, the back side, and go up through both pieces of fabric. Then I'm going to come and find about maybe half an inch, quarter inch, quarter inch, and pull right through to the other side. And I've made my first stitch. Now I'm going to find the back side and go back through my fabric like that to form my second stitch. And then I'm going to go and again try to keep these about even and go forward to back like that. Now I'm going to go again from back to front. It's important to note with a running stitch we're going front to back, back to front. It's also important we don't want to pull too tight. If we do our stitches are going to scrunch up so make sure you straighten your fabric. Let's do one more. We're going to go front to back, go a little bit of a ways and go back to front like that. And that is the start of our running stitch. Let's do one more front to back. Make sure we don't pull too tight. And as you can see, my two pieces of fabric are now nice and secure to each other. And now to tie off, I'm going to take my needle and pick up just a little bit of fabric, just a tiny bit. Now take the tail end of your thread and just wrap it over the end of your needle. It's important to leave enough thread to do this. Now that I've gone through, I'm going to pull nice and tight, and that little tiny loop becomes a knot, just like that. I'm going to straighten up my fabric real quick, and there we go. We've got a running stitch. Let's take a look at another stitch called a back stitch. Now, a back stitch is even stronger than our running stitch, and it kind of mimics the way a stitch works on a sewing machine. It's going to go forward and back to create a solid line. So I've got my thread all ready to go. I'm going to fold my fabric over so I'm sewing through two pieces to sew them together. And I'm going to start by going back to front just like I was doing a running stitch. And my first couple stitches are going to look like that. So front to back, pull my thread through, and one more running stitch back to front. Now if this was a running stitch I would be going a little bit forward maybe right around here. But for a back stitch, I want to find where my thread entered. And I'm going to go back through that. So a step backward. And if your thread tangles a little bit, just use your fingers to kind of coax it through. Just like that. See how it's going a solid line? So now I'm going to come to the back and I'm going to move a little bit forward and come up. And now remember, 
If this was a running stitch, I go forward, but for a back stitch, I want to go back to that first spot. Pull that through, just like that. Let's do another stitch. So I'm going to come from the back to the front, go a little bit forward, and come on through. And now we're going to go back through that hole that I just made, going back to front. So essentially we're kind of going back a step each time we go forward and it's making it straight and solid and a little bit longer than your original thread. So remember, go back forward a little bit, pull your thread through. If you've got a double thread, you might need to coax it even. And now we're going to go back through and smooth out my thread. And there we go. We've got a back stitch. 